Hi, welcome to the Green Garage. We're in the seventh week of our design work and you're right now you're in the Zero Energy Design Studio. And uh, what you'll see here is what is uh, our wind map and this is called a wind rose. Here's our building right here and the wind rose is really showing where is the predominant direction of the wind and what is the power of that wind. So you can see here the most of the wind coming at the green garage is actually coming at the face of the green garage, which kind of will be really helpful in the zero energy design for um, ventilation. So here's um, north, south, uh, east, and west. So it's mainly a southwest wind um, in Detroit, and all this data was obtained online. Um, and then over here, uh, this uh, kind of second... <laughs> The most powerful energy system we have, of course, is the sun. And here is a map that, again, is the same thing of the green garage. Here's the front of the green garage. It's actually oriented about 24 degrees. Um, it's cocked about 24 degrees off of due north and south. So it's kind of tipped to the east a little bit. So here is the the sun, here's where it rises in June, comes all the way around and sets over here at, in June. It rises here in March and September and then sets here. And then in December it rises here and sets here. Of course, the arc in the summer is much higher and then the winter is lower. And that's shown here on this chart. Last week we did kind of an interesting thing, which was how is the sun going to shine on our building um, if the black stone is right next door. And so we've been documenting some of this on our website, but the interesting thing is we got uh, through the sun map that you just saw, we got the degrees that the sun will, how high the sun will be in the sky at noon, and then looked at the top, measured the height of the black stone and that top edge, and then looked at the angle of the sun at noon in December, September, and July and figured out where the sun rays will be hitting. So in July, it'll be hitting essentially in the middle of the alley at noon. In September and March, it'll be on the upper edge of the building. And in December, it'll really be shining about at the middle of our roof. The final thing we are working on is what is the human comfort zone? And here is the temperatures and the relative humidity and um, we're trying to actually figure out what is the comfort zone for the humans and then when we don't have humans in the building, what, is, what can we do um, to reduce uh, the demand during the times that people are not there and uh, save energy. So this is just the beginning of the zero energy design. Our next step is really selecting a modeling tool that takes the data from the wind, the sun, um, and the temperatures and then puts that into a model and figures out what the energy demand will be for the building to meet the human comfort zones that we just talked about.